Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> I'm in a, a new facility. We're in the world headquarters of Weld.com. I've been here before numerous times. I've built a lot of things in here, uh, and I need something else now. I need a cooling tank. I, I have to be able to quench material, uh, handle material, and I also want to use it for something else, and that's to slow cool an item. So uh, in any event, I need to build a cooling tank. I was going to build it out of 11 gauge material. I don't, it doesn't need to be very big. I just want to do like a 18 inch square. So I need six pieces, 18 inch by 18 inch, 11 gauge thick, and I want to build a lid for it. So, uh, you know, a simple layout. I'm going to plasma cut today, uh, and we just want to do the layout. We want to cut the pieces, prep them. We're going to use the gas metal arc welding process, fit corner to corner. Should go fairly quick, uh, but in, in any event, that's the project for today. So, cooling tank, and I do believe we're going to even put some, uh, got to put some casters on it so we can move it around. The handle, and let's see, what else? We'll probably have to build a screen for it, so if we put a piece in there, we'd be able to pull it back out. We've a couple of detail items on it, so in any event, uh, I think that's about it. So this will be one of many projects that we do. If you want to stay current with our content, please subscribe to the videos. So uh, I've got a couple of things here to lay out. Let's get going.
We're all fit up, outside corner to corner, nothing critical. Again, it's just a cooling tank, but it's a practical build. And uh, I'm ready to weld. So I will more than likely, because this is a outside corner, I did leave myself about a 16th of gap everywhere. I'm probably gonna turn these volts down like 17.5, and I'll turn the wire feed speed down to about 180. I just wanna kinda soft butter this in here. I'm gonna to try to make full seam welds down here that full 18 inches. I'll stop near the corners and I might even TIG weld the corners. Just We'll see how it goes, just to make them seal up.
Well, this concludes our project. <clears throat> We've, uh, oh, I mean, you know, we, we uh, things could have gone quicker. Basically, it's, uh, you know, it's the, it's the material, the 11 gauge. We cut everything from corner to corner, fit it up. I welded the seams. There is some detail work to do in the corners, as I mentioned. Uh, I think there may be a bug hole of porosity along the way. I'd have to do a closer inspect. The lid, I finished the corners on a couple of them to show a sample sand. These not don't necessarily need to be welded all the way, but I think we could go in and probably take our time and do a pulse TIG, sand it up, clean it. Throw some uh, vinegar at it, knock the oil off of it, and put a primer and coat of paint on it. So we have labored to produce a coupon cooler. Coupon cooler. In any event, a cool little project. We need it here because uh, we're handling hot materials. And uh, another thing we want to use, if it doesn't have water in it and we're not quenching with it, we're going to fill it with uh, floor dry because there are some experiments that we want to do with some tool steels. And we want to do a preheat and control this cooling rate. So that's one of the ways that we can do it is to put uh, either sand or floor dry in it and uh, put our hot parts in there and let them cool off real slow. So, you know, hey, we, we had to have it here. Kind of goes along with everything else. We fit and fab and do what we need to do. Good project for wire feed, gas metal arc welding process on the ESOB Rebel 235. I hope you found this uh, educational, entertaining. You saw me get dirty a little bit here from the greasy steel. Please check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and thanks for watching Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffat. I'm going to go get a cigar. <laughs>